Welcome everyone, Rowdy here, and let's take a first look at the new mythic Kurandara and Enraged Kurandara, and I have one team that I've been playing around with. I have not done a lot of testing. I have some ideas for more teams, but I've been doing a little D12 with Kurandara, but let's take a look at it. New mythic daemon. Yeah, red, green, purple. Yeah, thanks. Uh, bonus red mana from red gem matches. Immune to all status effects, devour, and mana burn. But if you notice, it, it is not immune to lethal damage. Only Enrage Kurandara is. And unfortunately, that's going to cost you your Heart of Rage and eight power orbs. Ouch. 50% chance to curse all enemies when matching four or more gems. Okay, deals damage to an enemy boosted by Doom Skulls. Well, how do you get Doom Skulls on the board? Hmm. Gotta have another Doom Skull Maker with it. Otherwise, it's just another. Basically, it's a. a doomed weapon. Then convert yellow to Doom Skulls, conjure a Doom Storm. The boost ratio on this is absolutely crazy. They're telling you put another Doom Skull Maker with this. And now that we've seen that boost ratio, let's go ahead and take a look at the Soul Forge. What do we need to make Enrage Kurandara and what does it do? Well, oh, you need eight power orbs. 50,000 souls and you need Heart of Rage which as of now you could only get with the Elite Pass from last week which I did end up purchasing or the Elite Plus Pass and once you use this to make Enrage Kurandara you no longer have Heart of Rage but the good news is once if you've upgraded that to Mythic like with a Minor it's Ascension Orb uh, when you do when it's back in the actually in the vault fall tables which would probably be four or five weeks uh, you will have it back at mythic when you do get it again but let's go ahead and take a look at enrage Kurandara. same thing there same thing there except now it is immune to lethal damage so Zul can't kill it but now you're down to a 40% chance to curse all enemies when my turn begins, as opposed to the 50% chance to curse when matching four or five gems. But it does damage to all enemies boosted by Doom Skulls. So it's. There's not a big difference other than the all enemies. I just can't see spending eight power orbs. I did craft Zul this year. I think it was January. I can craft eight orbs of power right now to do that if I wanted. And I believe I have enough left over to make about two more, but I don't plan to do it. It just doesn't seem feasible. So let's take a look at the goofy, goofy team that good old Rowdy has thought up for right now. I'll have some more teams, but this is kind of just the one I've been playing around with. And originally I had War and Peace up here, which is a yellow-brown event weapon, just not to block any mana here, but I never cast it. Uh, what it did is it took 25 armor off of all enemies and pulled one of them to the front, but I never cast it. So I thought, well... Let's go either, you know, Doomed Club or Doomed Axe, which this one transforms green to Doom Skulls and does damage to all enemies, or Doomed Axe, which uh, that one changes all purple. But hey, we need purple for Thrall, we need purple for Kurandara, so I thought, I'm going to throw Doom Skull in here. And 
right now the way I'm running this team, I do have some other ideas. Uh, but right now I'm running Rune uh, War Priest because it does have the 40% uh, skull damage. And since it doesn't create a storm, Lord of Slaughter starts with the Doomstorm at the start of battle. Which is actually kind of nice most of the time. So, hmm. let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what happens. I've had, I haven't lost any, and I've had really good luck with this. And now that I've got Doom Club in there, basically the most important thing about this team, if you get Thrall up quick, two casts of Thrall will fill uh, Lord of Slaughter and Kurandara. I kind of didn't expect the uh, death mark, and I hope it doesn't matter. So, oh look! So, two casts of Thrall. I am using two Nisha medals and one Anu medal. And the reason I'm using the Nishas is that's eight more gems I can destroy with uh, Thrall, which is my mana gen. So now we can look at the board and go, okay, do I want to chance it with that? Do I have a four match with Doomed Club? Do I have anything with Kurandara, which uh, converts yellow? Because you always want to make sure you have a four match with that. And I do see that. I'm not that bad. <laughs> but anyways, let's look at that that would be 53 damage plus if this was in Rage Kurandara, that would be 113 damage to all enemies, but I wouldn't have an extra turn. So right now I would just cast Doom Club. Oh, and look. Now I've got a four match with Kurandara. And if that was in Rage Kurandara, it'd be 113 damage to all enemies. That's just nuts. But it's not worth, uh, whatchamacallit, eight power orbs, at least in my opinion. And now we'll just finish it off with Lord of Slaughter. Or at least I thought we would. Well, okay, I'll cast Thrall one more time. And I'll look for yellow. Yeah, we'll be fine. Because that does damage as well. This team is just an absolute beast with skulls. As long as you get your first purple match, it's fun. Because there's just skulls flying everywhere. And now, this is quite an interesting uh, board configuration with all that blue and purple. Uh, but so do you take the skull or do you go early and go for your thrall mana well I've got 40% skull reduction yeah you know me I'm always going to go for filling up my mana gen as long as I've got that skull reduction and with that doomstorm to start it's pretty lethal so technically we're looking for a yellow match? I don't see one. I see a four match with brown already, even before we cast this. And we're looking for yellow. I don't see one. I'm tempted to just, you know, I'll just blow up the board and not worry about it. And then we look for yellow. I don't see a four match. I'm just gonna throw brown out there. Sometimes you just have to go for it, everyone. And I still don't have a four match on yellow. But I see enough brown that I'm confident. And I still don't see enough yellow to make me happy.
So anyways, this video is getting a little bit long. This seems like it could be a pretty interesting uh, difficulty 12 team. And I'll give you some thoughts on what I am might be thinking for tomorrow. <sighs> Let me hold off on that. Not because I don't want to give away any secrets. It's because now that I'm looking at the team... I'm not exactly sure if it's going to work. I'm just going to do one more match really quick. And let's see how we do. I don't see any purple. I don't like that. But anyways, we'll start to fill Lord of Slaughter. Very nice. There's my purple. Two casts of this should fill up at least the ones I want. It did, but I don't see a four match with yellow and I don't see much brown. Oh, I got a match right there with brown. And now I've got a four match with Kurandara. And now we can start looking for a green extra turn match, which we have right there with Doomed Club. Alrighty then. <laughs> Sometimes I love this game so much. Alright. What would a smart man do? He says, I've got a five in a row on that. And then he would say, match that and let's just do doomed club we'll be fine oh no a couple a couple skulls were matched i don't get too concerned about that this is more testing than anything else and i just wanted you guys to have a a good idea of you know what what to look for if you do have Kurandara and what kind of things to do. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a little bit of a long video and hopefully that doesn't bother you. You know, have some fun with Kurandara if, if you have it. If you don't, eh, you're not missing that much. And it'll be in the Soul Forge rotation in four to five weeks. Can't guarantee it's going to be first up, but... Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, thanks very much for watching, and have a good one, everyone. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.